In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Magalang umaga po sa inyong lahat. To those who are here with us inside the church, joining us in this celebration. To the devotees of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag. In their homes, participating in this Mass. And most especially for our students, the graduates of Letran Manawag, for their parents and their, for fam their families, welcome to this celebration. My brothers and sisters, this is indeed a great day for all of us, but especially for the administrators, teachers, and parents, and for the graduates, as the completers of Coleo de San Juan de Letran Manawag. Let us be mindful that God is in our midst at all times, especially in this most difficult period in our lives. And the fruits of God indwelling in us are joy and unity in our lives, despite the physical distancing caused by this pandemic. But peace and unity are also given to us through the cross and resurrection of Christ and celebrated again and again in the sacrifice of the Holy Mass. Let us all together thank God and praise Him for making us one big family that bears witness to His unfailing love and guidance. May this Eucharistic celebration be not the end but the beginning of more wonderful, fruitful years to come for our dear graduates and their respective families. Coming together as God's family with confidence, let us ask the Father's forgiveness for He is full of gentleness and compassion. I confess, Almighty, Almighty God, God, and, and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done, in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask the Blessed Mary of a Virgin, all the angels and saints, in you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. And Almighty God, have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord of mercy. Lord have mercy. Christ of mercy. Christ have mercy. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Let us pray. Merciful Father, fill our hearts with your love and keep us faithful to the gospel of Christ. Give us a grace to rise above our human weakness. Grant this to our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. To those who had been scattered by the persecution that aroused because of Stephen, went as far as Phoenicia, Cyprus, and Antioch, preaching the word to no one but Jews. There were some Cypriots and Cyrenians among them, however, who came to Antioch and began to speak to the Greeks as well, proclaiming the Lord Jesus. The hand of the Lord was with them, and the great number who believed turned to the Lord. The news about them reached the ears of the church in Jerusalem, and they sent Barnabas to go to Antioch. When he arrived and saw the grace of God, he rejoiced and encouraged them all to remain faithful to the Lord in firmness of heart, for he was a good man, filled with the Holy Spirit and faith, and a large number of people was added to the Lord. Then. He went to Tarsus to look for Saul, and, 
And when he had found him, he brought him to Antioch. For a whole year, they met with the church and taught a large number of people. And it was in Antioch that the disciples were first called Christians. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. foundation upon the holy mountains the Lord loves the gates of Zion more than any dwelling of Jacob glorious things are said of you O city of God All you nations praise the Lord. I tell of Egypt and Babylon among those who know the Lord of Philistia Tyre Ethiopia this man was born there, and of Zion they shall say, One and all were born in her, and he who has established her is the Most High Lord. All you nations, praise the Lord. They shall note, when the peoples are enrolled, this man was born there. And all shall sing in their festive dance, My home is within you. All you nations, praise the Lord. Please stand. My sheep hear my voice, says the Lord. I know them, and they follow me. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. The Feast of the Dedication was taking place in Jerusalem. It was winter, and Jesus walked about in the temple area on the portico of Solomon. So the Jews gathered around him and said to him, How long? Are you going to keep us in doubt? If you are the Christ, tell us plainly. Jesus answered them, I told you, and you do not believe. The works I do in my Father's name testify on me. But you do not believe because you are not among my sheep. My sheep hear my voice. I know them, and they follow me. I give them eternal life, and they shall never perish. No one can take them out of my hand. My Father who has given them to me is greater than all, and no one can take them out of the Father's hand. The Father and I are one. Dear friends, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Today we celebrate a baccalaureate mass, a thanksgiving mass, unlike any other. Uh, unlike any other because instead of the students who are about to graduate, I do not even see them here. But I can assure you, nasa bahay-bahay po sila. Together with their parents, uh, the instruction is that they should also be in their uniform. Hindi ko alam kung naka-uniform po kayo sa inyong mga bahay. No? But uh, 
ilang araw na lang, ilang pagkakataon na lang para maisuot yung uniform na yan. So, might as well use this uniform. Today we celebrate a baccalaureate mass, a thanksgiving, because today students are graduating. And this is not a normal situation. Sa panahon ngayon, marami yung nagtatanong, hindi lang doon sa mga gumraduate sa Lateran Manawag, but actually sa lahat ng institusyon. Ano ba ang naghihintay sa akin pagka-graduate ko? I've been to so many graduations and I've celebrated already many baccalaureate masses and I've shared the excitement and uncertainty of graduates. At nakakatuwa kapag tinitingnan mo sila, excited, yung mga mata nila punong-puno ng excitement, na hindi ko makita ngayon sapagkat wala sila. And you can also see and almost feel yung fear, yung nervousness, yung uncertainty of what awaits them outside of the kolehiyo or outside of the university. Yung mo makita eh, nakakatuwa po yung moment na yun na makapture mo sa mata ng mga graduates yung pinaghalong tuwat ka ba? Tuwa dahil they have accomplished a milestone sa buhay nila ka ba sapagat they are opening another door that is very much uncertain. Now you double that and even triple that because of the certainty of what awaits them in front of them in the very near future. I know the question reverberates sa kanilang mga utak, sa kanilang pagtulog, sa kanilang pagising, and these are the questions. Do I have an answer? I do not have an answer. May sagot po ba yung mga teachers ninyo? Wala rin pong sagot. The institution may sagot? Wala rin pong sagot. But perhaps we might be asking the wrong question. Perhaps the question that is more important is that what have you learned in your four years of stay sa Coleo de San Juan de Letran, Manawag? Or in any school kung saan man kayo gumagraduate sa ngayon? In other words, ano ang baon-baon ninyo when you face this uncertain world. And mind you, you are not the only one facing this uncertainty. Actually, everyone ay nahaharap sa uncertain future. My dear graduates, perhaps the words of St. Paul will ring more, will have more bearing and will have more weight as you leave the portals of the Colegio. And what is that? In words that in the end, there are three things that last. Faith, hope, and love. And the greatest of this is love. This is not just motherhood statement. This is not just a quotation. This is not just words na po pwede mong iprint at ipaste, ipaframe to remind you every now and then. But these are real promise and these are real principles and these are real foundation na pinangahawakan at mapangahawakan natin. Bakit faith? We are all too familiar that we are going through a dark period. Uncertain. Dark. Wala kang mapanghawakan. Yung mga dati na pinapaniwalaan mo, you cannot hold on to them. And when this time is upon us, 
the only thing that is necessary that will help us ay kung saan ka tataya. Di ba, yung pananampalataya, ang root word nun ay taya. Faith. Saan ka tumataya? Are you betting on yourself that you will be able to go through this? And that at some point, you will be able to find work. At some point, these things will make sense. At some point, you will be able to stand on your own two feet. So ang tanong, kanino ka tumataya at saan ka tumataya? Perhaps more importantly, kanino ka tumataya? Bet on yourself and bet on God. Because it is with faith that we will be able to go through this. Pangalawa, pag-asa. Hope. Kung nawalan kayo ng pag-asa, sigurado ako wala kayo sa bakalorya at mas na ito. Carry that hope because that is the one that will give you vision. Hope is not just in the heart. Hope is not just in the mind. Hope is in the eyes. Because hope is the one that will allow us to see beyond. To feel beyond. To hold on and that there is something to hope for. Hold on to that. It's something that is scary because while many of our actions would attend to the needs of the body, kaya nga may community pantry, it attends to the hunger of the body, but there is also a hunger of the heart and then the hunger of the spirit. And when we keep that hope burning, we are being assured that there is something for us in the future. When we have that hope in our eyes, we will be able to see what is beyond the present situation. And lastly, pag-ibig. Sapagat kapag ka walang pag-ibig, I am very sure you have already given up also. Sa mga magulang, alam ko yung salitang iginapang is more concrete in this time of pandemic. Iginapang yung pagbili ng laptop, iginapang yung pagbili ng load, iginapang yung pagbili ng lahat ng materials para mapatapos yung anak. More than ever, the word iginapang is very important and meaningful to us. And not only to the graduates, I am in front of teachers right now. Tuwang-tuwa po ako sa inyo nung unang pinag-aaralan ninyo yung learning management system yung kayo ay nagtuturo pa na may katabing nakakabata para ituro kung saan yung enter, kung saan titingin sa camera, na isang oras na kayo nagsasalita, naka-off pala yung microphone ninyo. Ratawa kayo, no? Nangyari sa inyo yon At yung excited na excited ka na magturo, biglang naubos yung data mo. All of these things, iginapang. Pero sabi nga natin, may awa ang Diyos. Faith, hope, and love. More than ever, dear graduates, aside from the knowledge, aside from the learning, aside from what you have learned from your teachers and from your studies, remember also that in a very special way, we have a pubakit, the inan birhen ng manawag, to continue to intercede for us. Ang swerte nyo nga, mga taga-manawag, sapagkat when you graduate, you hold the thanksgiving here at the Minor Basilica of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag. It is as if you are asking Apo Baket to continue interceding for you even after 
you have graduated from college and intercede she will because that is her nature. My dear parents, maraming salamat po for the trust that you have given us in Latran. Maraming salamat sa pagapang para sa inyong mga anak. Pag-uho kayong magalala, this will not go unnoticed in the eyes of God. Dear teachers, alam ko na dagdagan po yung puti sa buhok ninyo at ilang beses na naman kayo nagtina. Pero wag ko kayo magalala, hindi naman nakikita na yan pagka-online yung pagtuturo. I'm very sure you were challenged, but I can assure you, we have seen that you were up to the challenge. The Dominican schools, UST, Latran, will continue to assist us, even if Latran Manawag is a very small institution. But through collaboration, we will continue to be relevant in this new situation ng ating educational system. But more importantly, we have the grace of God to always strengthen us every time that we are about to give up. We have the grace of God that will allow us to see clearly in the darkness of what we are all going through. We thank God today and to all the parents who have been, who have been making sacrifices for their children Maraming salamat po. And the grace of God will always be upon you. Please stand. At this point, may we invite even those who are not here as parents to join us in this graduation promise that our students are making in their homes. I ask you that I know at one point you were also students and parents to please pray, not only for our students, but for all the students that you know who are, are about to graduate this year. God's beloved children, graduation has finally come with hearts full of gratitude for the past gifts and benefits lavishly poured upon you and looking ahead with trust and filial confidence to reach your dreams and aspirations in life Continue to trust in Him and live the baptism you have received with faith. Today, with the help of His grace, in the presence of your parents and friends, you will pledge fidelity to your Christian calling. And therefore, I ask that you promise to live for Jesus Christ who died for you. We do promise. Do you promise to live for Jesus Christ who died for you? We do promise. Do you promise to serve Christ in your neighbor at home and in society? We do promise. Do you promise to keep your Catholic faith burning in your hearts to profess it steadfastly and live it faithfully? We do promise. Do you promise to give glory to God every Sunday by assisting the Holy Mass and sharing the bread of life with the Christian community? We do promise. Do you promise as members of Christ's body to take your part in building up His kingdom on earth? We do promise. May God give you the grace of perseverance to keep the promises you have just made. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. The prayers of the faithful. God remembers His covenant forever. Let us approach Him and place all our needs before Him. For every petition we say, Lord, have mercy on your people. Lord, have mercy on your people. For Pope Francis, all the bishops, especially Bishop Socrates B. Villegas, priests and religious, that they may fearlessly proclaim the good news of salvation and may their lives be mirrored in God's loving mercy and compassion for all, especially the oppressed, the poor, and the abundant, we pray. Lord, the mercy on your people. For all our local and national leaders, that they may be inspired by the Holy Spirit with Christ's love for peace, and that this love move their hearts to set aside their personal interests in making decisions for the common good, we pray. Lord, have mercy on your people. For all the administrators, teaching and non-teaching personnel of Latran Manawak, that they may remain steadfast in their mission, 
to carry out the Dominican tradition of providing quality education to the learners, we pray. Lord, have mercy on your people. For our parents and guardians who have always stood beside us and have never failed to support our every, every need, we pray that the good Lord may bestow upon them the same love and care they have selflessly given to all these years, we pray. Lord, have mercy on your people. For all the benefactors of our institution, we pray that they may continue their unwavering faith and support for the great cause of Colegio de San Juan de Letran Manawag of molding the youth to become responsible citizens of our country, we pray. Lord, have mercy on your people. For all of us graduates, that our loving Father may always guide and watch over us as we hurdle the many challenges that await us in the future, and may the Holy Spirit grant us the gift of wisdom to enable us to make right choices and decisions in life, especially in this crisis moment, we pray. Lord, have mercy on your people. For all those who have died, especially our late Reverend Father Chodolo Cahigal and all the Dominican priests and sisters assigned here, all those who have died in coronavirus, that through the cross and passion of Christ and through the intercession of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawak, may they be brought to the glory of the resurrection, we pray. Lord, have mercy on your people. We also pray in a very special way for all the devotees of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawak for their well-being, for their health and safety especially. We pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy on your people. We continue to pray for all our frontliners, for especially for the health workers, for the leaders of our society, of our government, for the leaders of the church, for guidance, strength, and enlightenment. We pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy on your people. Now we pause for a while and in silence, you may now offer your personal intentions. Father, be with us as we celebrate the joy of your son's resurrection. Listen to our prayers, those spoken out loud and those kept in the silence of our hearts. Please grant all we ask to Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Please stand. Pray, my dear friends, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. Accept gracefully 
graciously, O Lord, we pray the offerings of your people that renewed by confession of your name and by baptism, they may attain an ending happiness through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation at all times to acclaim you, O Lord, but on this day, above all, to laud you yet more gloriously when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. For he is the true Lamb who has taken away the sins of the world. By dying as he sword our death, by rising he sword our life, and therefore overcome with Paschal joy, every land, every people exalts in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of holiness. May call you therefore these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take these, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation giving thanks that you beheld us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partake of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Socrates, our Archbishop, Fidelis, our Auxiliary Bishop, Gerard, the Master of the Order of the Preachers, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the Blessed Apostles, and with all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be heirs to eternal life and praise, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor ensures forever and ever. Amen, amen, amen. Please stand. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to pray.
Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin, and save from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to the apostles, Peace I live you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and graciously grant our peace and unity in accordance with your will to live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. We offer to one another the sign of Christ's peace. Peace be with you. My dear friends, my dear brothers and sisters, behold our Lord Jesus Christ, the Lamb of God. Behold Him who takes away the sins of the world. Now blessed are those called to the Supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed.
Let us pray. May the grace of this Paschal Sacrament abound in our minds, we pray, O Lord, and make those you have set on the way to eternal salvation be worthy of your gifts. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated for the word of thanks. In behalf of the Latran community, we would like to express our heartfelt gratitude to our celeb celebrant, Reverend Father Stephen Aridilias Opie, for the wonderful and insightful homely. Thank you very much. Please stand. We first bless the diplomas, medals, and then certificates. Our help is in the name of the Lord. Who made heaven and earth. Let us pray, God our Father, you are the fountain of knowledge and virtues. Grant that this, your sons and daughters, whom you filled with divine and human gifts, may dedicate themselves to you and the people with unfailing generosity and love. Lord, we ask you to bless these diplomas, medals, and certificates, fruits of the many years of labor. Bless also the graduates who will receive and read them. Grant them with unbroken loyalty to your Son, Jesus Christ, whom Kuleo de San Juan de Latran Manawag taught them to love and serve. Continue to bless them so that your teaching and everything that they have learned may be used for your greater glory of the service of their fellow men. Grant this through Christ our Lord. Amen. And before they give the final blessing, maraming salamat po sa pagdalaw ninyo sa minor basilica of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag at maraming maraming salamat sa pakikisa ninyo sa banal na misa. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Bow down for the blessing. The Father of mercies has given us an example of unselfish love in the sufferings of His only Son. Through your service of God and neighbor, may you receive His countless blessings. Amen. You believe that by His dying on the cross, Christ destroyed death forever. May He give you everlasting life. Amen. He humbled Himself for our sake. May you follow his example and share in his resurrection. Amen. And may Almighty God bless you. In the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass ascended, go in peace to love and serve the Lord through one another. Thanks be to God. We shall now say the prayer for the blessing of your religious articles and to be followed by the prayer. Prayer first for the blessing of the sick, then followed by the prayer for the blessing of religious articles. Our help is in the name of the Lord. Who made heaven and earth. God, our Almighty Father, by your blessing, you give us strength and support in our frailty. Turn with kindness toward our sick brothers and sisters, freedom from all illness, and restore them to good health through the intercession of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag, so that in the sure knowledge of your goodness, we will gratefully bless your holy name. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. And we bless your religious articles. In memory of the miseries of the life, death, and resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ, and to the honor and glory of the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of Christ, Mother of the Church, Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag, may these rosaries, images, candles, oil be blessed and made holy in the name of the Father, and the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. <laughs> 